हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम बैक टू फुल स्टैक वेब डेवलपमेंट कोर्स यूजिंग रिएक्ट जेस एंड स्प्रिंग बूट गाइस इन टुडेस वीडियो वी आर गोना इंप्लीमेंटिंग चैट फंक्शनलिटी इन अवर एप्लीकेशन सो फ्रॉम हियर यू कैन सर्च द यूजर हुम यू वांट टू मैसेज एंड हियर यू कैन सी द एग्जिस्टिंग चैट विथ हुम यू हैड चैट प्रीवियसली इन द और इन द पास्ट ओके सो नाउ uh let me click on this chat and from clicking on that chat you will go inside that users chat and from here you can message uh those user like uh, hi so when i click on hi you can see the new message is coming or let me write good morning so you can see good morning message is appear here okay so yeah guys this kind of functionality today we are going to implement so now without wasting any time let's get started uh let me go to my vs code and in the vs code i have run already this application but uh, let me find this a uh, message message component okay so a uh, message message dot jsx yeah uh first guys uh, uh let me uh first guys will uh, implementing this ui part will build this ui and uh, then will integrate api for this okay creating message creating chat search user and yeah that all the functionalities will implement after that so now let me go to here and false uh, let me go to here as well and also let's uh, start our back end so let me stop this and uh, start our josh uh, josh social youtube back end okay and uh, run as a spring boot guys if you haven't start your back end yet then please start okay now uh, i guess it's uh, up to run now let's go to here and uh, uh log in with ram's credential and uh why i'm not able to log in let me check the console it's saying uh, axios error which axios error user not found okay so let's create a new user here uh here i will give pablo and a last name pande email i will give pablo not pablo one only pablo at the gmail.com password i will give 1 2 3 4 5 6 and uh, gender i will give male and when i click on register you can see pablo is register oh okay local is 3000 pablo is registered successfully here you can see pablo's credential are coming uh, pablo pande okay and uh, these are the post which are uh, made by sita you can see sita ram okay uh, all right now what i need to do is uh, let's go to message okay you can see here only message so yeah guys will implement first uh, this ui so here you can see we have only one div and inside that i have written message so now let me uh, clean that and uh, create one more div inside it or maybe let's create a greet uh why greet all uh, because here you can see in the left side we have a uh, uh, user chat and in the right side we have all the messages regarding this chat okay that's why we have created here one greet one for left side and one for right side so now what i'm going to do is uh, uh i need to create uh, okay control set grid child here 
so I need to give here item and access it will take three space okay uh, in the other hand right sides grid item will take nine space okay nine plus three will become 12 so we have 12 uh, st grid structure in MUI material UI okay so guys as you can see we have uh, made it uh, item means child so we we need to made it container to its parent grid okay so let's make it container and uh, here you I need to give some classes like uh, hides gonna be screen then overflow y will be hidden also let me uh, give some uh, class name to this as well uh, like uh, in the px I will give five padding background uh, will not change currently we'll change it later okay now inside this grid let me create one more div and uh, I need to style this div as well so let's give class name flex I hide full justify between and space x2 now let's create one more div inside this and let's style this as well flex space x4 item center py5 and uh, h1 let's give it home class name here I need to give text Excel font bolts and uh, here I need to give waste icon means uh, okay icon for uh, this back arrow okay so let's search for this icon in the MUI website MUI icons and uh, I need to click here on the west icon or oh, west icon this so let's copy this paste it over here and let's use it here west icon All right, all shift F here I need to give then below this div I will create one more div class name height I will give 83 VH and uh, here I will also give class name and inside this I will uh, create search user functionality okay search user okay guys so uh, actually let me close this and go to here so guys uh, this component will make in a separate file okay so that's why I have written here uh, search user here will uh, render that component okay once we have implemented that so now let's move to the next part we'll uh, guys will build this uh, component later first let, let me fi uh, finish this structure okay now here I need to give class name height full space y4 then margin top 5 overflow y hidden overflow y actually y scroll not x mm. okay overflow y scroll I need to give okay yeah and hide scroll bar uh, we'll hide this scroll bar okay but first let's go to here and check how our design is look like 
so you can see our uh, design look like this it's not good okay no worries we'll make it better uh, height uh, 83 vh and height's gonna be full actually let uh, why it's uh, coming here let me check this so uh, okay search user coming here and this is coming here all right mm. search user and this okay so what i need to do is uh, i need to cut out this two div guys okay control x i will right here and create one more div inside that div i will write this and uh, this give to i give width full okay now it's fine you can say that uh, now guys here our uh, search user component will come and uh, then below it here uh, our all the chat users will come okay so what i'm gonna do is uh, let me write here user chat card okay and it's gonna be this user chat card all right uh, i guess now our left side work is done guys you can see our left side work is done i need to implement a right side uh, component okay so let's go to grid a left side grid and uh, here also i will give some class name like height i will give here full then create one div inside that div i need to create one more div so let's create one more div and here i will give a uh, class name flex justify between then item center and uh, let's give it border one uh, so actually border left not one and uh, p5 okay then what i need to do is let's create one more div let's start to this div as well uh, i will give you a flex item center then uh, space x3 okay and uh, here let's uh, create our avatar so avatar avatar and like this here i need to give src so let's give src here okay let's go to here uh, let's search for src inside uh, pixabay all right uh, it will take some time or maybe we can uh, search in the pixel as well and uh, these two website guys give us uh, non copyright images for free which we can use in our website let me search for pixel uh yeah so let me search here user and uh, we didn't find any let's write here profile picture 
okay so you can see that we are uh, getting nice profile picture let's take this copy image address and write to paste it over here hold that all right and uh, below this avatar i need to write chat name so currently i need to give here dummy name so let's give a code with josh uh, once we'll integrate uh, api for our uh, chat functionalities that time we'll uh, replace this code with josh name with real chat name okay so you can see it's coming like that and uh, now what i need to do is uh, uh, give this and this icon okay so let's create one more div here below this class name flex space x3 and uh, icon button icon button inside that icon button add icon actually add call icon so let's search for this icon call okay this let's copy this paste it over here so it's for audio call now let's add for video call icon as well video and uh, let's search this uh, actually let's copy this paste it over here and uh, add call icon below this icon button video call i video call icon okay and let's imp uh, import this icon button from material ui and let's make it structured like uh, all right now here we'll write one more div and uh, our all the messages will come here okay we'll implement it later but let's first see our design how look looks like our design so yeah it's looking better and uh, from now here all the our messages will come uh you can see that like this all right so let me remove this thing or maybe let's uh write your messages and let's uh, style this div so here we need to give a uh, hide scroll bar actually guys we have used a hide scroll bar here and uh, one class name above let me show you that as well here also we have used hide scroll bar so we haven't uh, still implement this class but we'll implement this later okay so yeah don't be confused like uh, where it's come from it's come from uh, Telvin uh, Telvin CSI no guys it will it will not come from Telvin CSI will implement that class by ourselves uh, now overflow scroll I need to give here overflows Y scroll okay and height I will give here 82 VH and uh, PX I will give here to then space y5 py5 okay let's see oh yeah it's look like this looking better i guess and uh, guys now let's go to our vs code 
and below this div need to create one more div okay let's give some uh, class name to here sticky let's give it sticky bottom 0 and border 1 actually border L so guys why I have given uh, here sticky because whenever I scroll down you can see our input part is not be scrolled uh, it's sticky there okay this is input part so that's why I have given here sticky inside this I uh, will implement uh, that uh, input part so let me write here input part and let's see our design so okay here our messages will come and here we'll implement our input part so yeah now let's go to here and uh, okay so let's create our div here class name I need to give py5 then flex item center justify center and space x5 then input class name bg trans uh, background i need to give here transference uh, then border uh, border color i need to give here so it's gonna be 3b4054 rounded full and uh, width I need to give 90% then PY3 and PX5 okay also let's give placeholder as well so placeholder I will give uh, right message all right all zips f let's check so yeah guys you can see our uh, me, uh, input is looking look like this for typing message okay and uh, right side we need to create one more input for uh, selecting image you can see here when i click on that our uh, image art say uh, we can select image from here okay so yeah that's why we need to implement this uh, image input as well so let's go to our vs code and let's implement this part as well so below this input let's create one more div inside this div i will write one input and that time guys i will not give type as a text the time i will give type as a file because we'll uh, implement this input for image selecting image okay uh, it will accept image so that's why here we need to give this uh, props or maybe property on change we need to give handle handle select image handle select image okay and uh, style let's give class name hidden okay and id image input and let's implement this handle select image here handle select image 
console.log handle select image okay and uh, yeah guys as you can see our uh, left side input is not up here because we have given here uh, hidden hidden class so we need to create uh, impl uh, implement or create label for this because we don't need this uh, input okay you can see when i uh, remove this uh, hidden class it will look like this but we don't need this format we need design like this okay that's why we have given it to hidden all right now let's uh, create here one label and uh, this label gonna it's gonna be for image input image input guys now uh, let me search for icon so add photo icon so let's uh, uh, copy this and paste it over here and let's render this add photo alternate icon and let's check okay you can see that our image is uh, coming here and when i click on this you can see the uh, means you can select image from here okay yeah guys now you may wonder that uh, uh, how you have hidden this and how it's coming like uh, you have just uh, create one label and inside the label you have given icon and when you click on that icon how your above input is working okay so guys very simple uh, you can see here we have given here id image input and we have tell that label to that this labels is working for the uh, uh, this input whose id is image input here you can see we have given image input okay so yeah this is the simple thing guys that's how this uh, label and input work together all right so that's it now what i need to do is uh yeah, our this thing is uh completed now uh let's create a search user component first okay then we'll create user chat card and after that we'll uh, implement this message part here you can see message will come uh in this way okay and uh, search user component will come in this way when i actually yeah now let's uh, go to here and uh, let's create search user inside this component search user component inside component directory search user dot jsx rfc all right we need to implement this search user so let's create one div here let's give it class name py5 then relative okay inside this i will create one input and i uh, need to give some style to this input so background transference then border border i need to give three v four zero five four okay outline none then uh, weird full
okay and text gonna be white actually we don't need to give text white here let's give px5 then py3 and round it full okay then let's uh, give placeholder as well search user placeholder search user then uh, let's give on change uh, on change will give a handle search user so handle search user we haven't defined this handle search user so let's define here const handle search search user console dot log we need to console this search user okay now here we'll make one condition if username only then we need to actually we remove this we need to render this uh, div or true uh, let's give me true here by default okay uh, guys this is uh, true we uh, why i have given here i will uh, explain this later when we'll integrate our api okay so don't worry about that uh, for now just focus on the design part okay so guys instead of div we have used here card and uh, from where it will come it will come from material ui okay inside this card here i can give a card header Okay, so let's use card header. Card header. And uh, on click, on click, I need to give uh, handle click. So handle click I will give here and let's uh, write here our handle click so const handle click like this console.log and let's uh, console here id id will come from as a parameter all right and uh, now let's uh, give here uh, avatar as well actually after on click here we can give avatar and src let's uh, use here this image or maybe let's use a different image this this let's go to here uh, let's copy this image and paste it over here okay so after giving uh, image we need to give here title after avatar t i t l e so let's give code with josh then subheader 
and uh, currently let's give sub header a code with josh and let's write it like this okay now our uh, search user component is completed now let's uh, import here so here search user okay and let's check how our design will look like okay you can see it's uh, looking fine okay it's looking fine but we need to hide this scroll bar okay here also scroll bar is coming and here also scroll bar is coming so what we will do is let's uh, go to our global css means index.css and here let's write uh, hide scroll bar class hide scroll bar and let's write the properties for hiding this scroll bar so for hide scroll bar we need to use your webkit scroll bar so webkit scroll bar and we need to give here width 5 pixel actually we need to give here 0 pixel because we need we want to hide this now yeah and hide scroll bar webkit thumb actually let's give me here uh, display none maybe it will work display none we don't need to give here thumb and all this thing because we don't want to okay hide scroll bar add scroll bar web kit scroll bar mm. okay what are the properties we need to define for hiding the scroll bar don't know but let's check let's give hide also zero Still, our uh, add scroll bar is there. So, I have given display none, webkit scroll bar, add scroll bar. Now, what I'm gonna do is What can I do that? What can I do? What can I do? Guys, wait for two minutes. Let me fix this issue. Width zero, height zero, display none. I have given. And when I go to height scroll bar though, spelling also not uh, spell missed hide scroll bar and uh, should I create here a message dot CSS and let me copy this paste it over here let's import this in our message.jsx let's check it is working or not or uh, import message.css still it's not working message.css hide scroll bar webkit scroll bar 
WebKit scroll bar track. Background this, this, this. WebKit scroll bar track. Display none. Oh, why it's not working? Okay, guys. Uh, let it be for now. Okay. For now, just let's move to the next part. Actually, search user, I don't need to write here. Here, our uh, user card will actually user chat card will come. User chat card. Okay, search user will come here. Sorry, guys. Okay. Yeah, it's look like this. That way. All right, now let's go to search user. Let's make it all shift F. And uh, let's make it false. So now this will, yeah. And user chat card. Actually, I guess I need to give some style to this because uh, first I let Let's do one thing. Let's uh, implement this uh, user chat card. Okay. So what I'm gonna do is uh, I will go to message and uh, write one file uh, user chat card dot JSX. Let's make it RFC. Now what we need to do is. Uh, Let's make it card header, card header. And here I need to give avatar. Okay, inside avatar, I need to give uh, avatar. And uh, let's give SRC to this. Okay, this time which image I'm gonna use? Oh, this image. Or uh, let's discover more. Oh, yeah, this image is fine. Let's copy image address. Or maybe this image is fine. Copy image address, go to, actually not go to here, go to here. And paste it over here. That's a uh, card header. I need to keep here. Okay. And uh, let's import this avatar for from material UI. Okay. And uh, now let's give some style to this avatar using SX uh, width. Width gonna be 3.5 REM. Then uh, height also gonna be 3.5 REM. Then uh, font size 1.5 REM. And background color. One nine one. Say 29. Let's give here color RGB double eight one double nine two five zero. 
let's go to here and uh, it will not appear because we haven't uh, rendered this uh, card header so let's uh, uh, render it here actually user chat not card header sorry guys so let's go to here and uh, let's right here user chat card uh, nothing is coming why is there anything wrong Okay, let's uh, write action here. Why I'm not able to write action? Uh, actually, we need to write this avatar inside this. Sorry, guys. That's why it's uh, giving this. And now we need to give action here. Okay, you can see uh, now avatar is coming but uh, after this need to action give here and inside action let's write icon button inside icon button more horizon icon we need to render here more horizon icon more horizon or as icon okay let's uh, import this icon so here let's search more horizon icon this copy this and paste it over here more horizon icon okay now let's give title to this after action uh, so action is start from here and where it is close here after this action we need to give here title and uh, here we need to give chat name so let's give it a code with source In subheader let's give message or it's new message all right now let's see so you can see our card is look like this great Great. Uh, actually, we need to give here a card. And inside that, if I give card header, it will look better, I guess. Hmm. Yeah. So let's do this. And uh, now let's remove this uh, TF, TF, TF. This. Okay. So our left side part is now done. And now let's implement this messaging part. Uh, in the messaging part, what we need to do is uh, first we need one chat message component so let's create chat message dot jsx or maybe uh, we can give it uh, name message card as well okay but let's give it chat messages 
and uh, here inside this div i will create one more div and let's give class name here yeah i will give class name like this so p1 padding 1 then uh, so round it empty uh, else px5 actually px5 i need to give like this round it full okay so guys why i have given here true uh, i will explain you when uh, once we will implement the uh, our api when we'll integrate our api that time i will explain this in much more detail okay so don't worry about uh, this right now just focus on styling part and let's create here one more Here I need to give a uh, background and background gonna be one nine one C two nine and uh, else let's write background here. one nine okay mm. so currently if i check here background is same for the both images okay so let's remove this And let's remove this as well. Okay. And inside this, let me write one p tag. Here, uh, write message. Let's write here class name. Okay, and uh, let's write here if true, then py2 else py1. So our message is appear here. Uh, let's render this chat message here so where it is in the message dot jsx actually chat message okay and uh, inside this chat message how why it's look like this let me go to chat message right here something else hmm fine now let's go to here give style to this parent as well okay first i need to give flex then here i need to give dollar sign and inside if true then justify start else 
justify and and why this background is not working here so background one and say two nine background color is not coming uh, okay because of this i guess yeah uh, all right for now text will be let's make it text will be white here font y or text white okay so yeah guys it's look like this and uh, if i write here false false then it will look like this okay so yeah guys our messaging part is fine. Let me write here false. Uh, I guess our messaging part is uh, actually it, still it's not done. Let me let me make it structured. And below this p tag, I need to write one more condition. If true then i need to render here one image okay image okay it's gonna be self close src and let's copy from here one image so let's copy this image address let's paste it over here and uh, alt and let's give class name as well as well so class name i will give here 12 rem height i will give uh, 70 rem object cover and uh, rounded empty i will give here okay so what i need to do is let's uh, write here true okay so with the image myself will look like this and uh, without image i have uh, shown you so with you false and false without image it will look like this okay and uh, with the image it will look like this so guys now may you you may have understand that why i have used here a true and false condition because if in our message contains the image so that time we need to render like this but if our message is not a uh, content image it contains only text then that time uh, we need to render like this false and false like this okay all right Uh, okay so let me make it true and let's see what left now i guess about all the designs are completed uh, 
let's go to search user so search user handle search user we need to define here a one state username set username equal to u state let's make it null okay let's take it e here and uh, set username e dot uh, target dot value and here we'll uh, set username null and uh, instead of where it is search user instead of false here i will write username okay but uh, guys we need to give here absolute okay because it's not to render like this class near a uh, class name here i need to give absolute width full chat index 10 then top 4.5 rem and cursor pointer yeah okay when i have given like this so it's looking there relative why this relative is not working where full head index fan of this cursor pointer uh div oh, let's wait guys actually uh i need to control x and paste it over inside this div okay that's the problem now let's give width full okay at that time you can see it's not creating any issue and it's looking fine okay all right guys so now let's start to uh, integrate our api for this chat functionality so for that what we are going to do is we'll uh, go to our vs code and inside this vs code we'll go to redux and inside redux we'll make one folder for message and uh, let's write message dot action dot js second file will be message dot action type dot js and third file will be for reducer message dot reducer dot js okay and uh, action type here i need to give const then create message requests create message requests and uh, instead of request let me write here success and here let me write failure okay we have three stage inside uh, redux first is for uh, 
uh, request second is success and third is failure once uh, a user click on any action that time it will be re uh, request and uh, once uh, that uh, action is completed so that time is successful and if uh, action will be fail or maybe we will get any error from api side then it will go to failure phase okay let's write x uh, okay, let me go to here and let's copy all this now instead of this uh, create message let's write for create chat as well so instead of this message i'll write here chat and now get all chat failures here we'll give get all chat instead of this create message get all chats and let me remove this now let's go to action type actually action let's write our action so first action will write for create message const create message okay and uh, here i need to receive message data and it's gonna be async function because we are gonna uh, call here our api so we need to wait for its response that's why we'll make it async function dispatch now inside this i will use try catch block and uh, here i will dispatch create message request okay so when user uh, request for creating message and this action will be dispatched and here now let's write const instead of response we'll write here data and uh, we need to await for our api's response uh, let's import this api Uh, so let's go to config yeah now it will give me the suggestion for importing api so api dot post and uh, here api message need to write here message let's console this data so created message okay and uh, here we'll dispatch a uh, success create success to create message success create message create message requests star as a action type and action type dot create message request yeah now let's dispatch here action type dot uh, create message success inside payload i need to give data and uh,
let me give your action type dot uh, create message failure I need to give here okay and uh, inside payload I will give error also let me console error if you get any error then it's easy for us to debug that error console.log catch error okay and let's write error uh, let's make it all shift f and let's uh, export this action okay now let's copy this and paste it over here because we'll write same for the uh, create chat and get all chat so let's write here for create chat actually so create chat and here we need data for chat let me write here chat i need to change endpoint as well instead of uh, api message here i will write uh, api chats and single maybe we don't need uh, single we'll check in the postman later but let's do it uh, create chat request and here create chat success so create chat success and here create chat failure so here i need to give create message failure okay all right now uh, this is done this is done this is done and this is also done so now let's uh, write same for the get all the chats here instead of create a message get all chats and uh, get all chat requests here get all chat success and here get all chat failure get all chat failure all right so now let's change the endpoint for this here we need to give chats and here user all right and uh, we'll change it to get all chats get all chats and uh, here also we'll change uh, created chat instead of created message right here created chat uh, i guess that's it all the things are done get all chat and yeah i guess uh, that's it ABI chats user hmm okay now let's go to reducer part and let's complete it so for reducer first we need to initialize initial state so any let's initial it initial state message chat actually like this and then loading false error null message null actually it's gonna be messages not message now let's uh right here message reducer so message reducer
and uh, state equal to initial state I need to give here and let's take action now let's export is as well export it as well and uh, here let's use switch cache switch cache switch switch cache switch yeah here we need to give key so key will be action dot type okay and here we need to give value so let's write for uh, first for create message success create message success and uh, what I'm gonna do is let's uh, import star as a action type and let's write here action type dot action type dot create message okay no need of this break here we'll return our state and uh, inside message we need to give action dot payload let's write another case action type dot create chat success uh, create chat success okay here we need to return state chats and uh, action dot uh, payload and existing chat as it yeah so existing chat will be state dot chat so guys here i have used uh, spread operators okay you should know about that because i'm not gonna explain here this is the basic react in uh, basic javascript syntax and a case action type dot get all chat success get all chat success okay in order to get all success uh, get all chat success we need to return here state and chats will be now action dot payload all right okay so i mean default we need to return store so let's uh or maybe state this state case we don't need this okay state chair action dot payload but why it's coming default uh, and uh, state expected an assignment for a function call and instead of so expression so what's the wrong with this switch this what's the wrong with this default okay we need to return this all right now guys we need to register this message reducer with our store so let's go to our store store.js and let's register up here message reducer as well so i will write here message and uh, message reducer all right now let's go to message dot and also guys uh, 
before go to message.jsx we need to go to auth.action.js why because we need to implement uh, api for searching users okay so first let's write the action type for search user uh, what i'm gonna do is uh, let me copy this and uh, here i'll write uh, search user search user request failure and success search user request failure and success and let's copy this actually let's copy get method yeah this is the get method copy this paste it over here and uh, search user okay here we need to give query and uh, here let's use uh, API dot get API users search equal to here I need to give query so let's give query and that's it uh, actually we don't need to give this header here so let me remove this Uh, let's write here search user okay and uh, now here I need to dispatch search user success instead of search user success also here I need to dispatch search user requests search user request and here search user failure all right if we get any error then we'll uh, catch it here okay uh, one more thing guys uh, we have missed if you go to message action okay so here you can see we have write our first action with post method and uh, we have copied all we have copied this for all uh, left rest too so that's why we have write same method for this and uh, it's not gonna work because uh, create message it's gonna be post me uh, post method and for create chat it's gonna be post method as well but for the get chat get all the chats it's gonna be get method okay so yeah we need to change this otherwise the get all chats will not work now let's go to uh, control p and message to jsx I'll select image and uh, let's go to search user handle search user okay here we need to dispatch our uh, search user action so dispatch const first let me define it so const dispatch equal to use dispatch and uh, use effect actually not a use effect we need to uh, dispatch that action when uh, handle search user invoked 
so let's dispatch here dispatch search user okay here we need to give query so query gonna be username let's write here now and let's inspect and see our search user is coming or not it's giving us uh, exos error and that is nothing but uh, actually inside the response we need to check it's a data require request parameter query for method for method but i have given a query parameter na uh, search and query parameter q okay here we need to give guys q okay that's why it's giving me error now it will not give any error i hope this time it will work fine let's search for sita still still getting error this time i'm getting uh, which error require parameter query okay let's go to our uh, controller and see what it's expects so in user controller let's find out our a uh, uh, search user hmm. request parameter query users search and uh, query i need to give like this okay because uh, we are expecting here request parameter that's why we need to give in uh, client side query like this now let's search for sita so you can see guys uh, we have get this successful response sita now what i need to do is uh, let's go to search user and let's access here our store first so message equal to use uh, selector okay and store and store from the store will access uh, message reducers value so inside message guys we have chats so that all the chats we need to uh, render here so let me cut out this control x and right here message dot chats dot chats dot map and paste it this so why it's giving me this passing an unexpected token unexpected token where unexpected token a message this message okay message dot chat i don't think okay message dot chat dot uh, message dot chat dot map item and uh, here we need to paste it 
this card all right now let's search we are getting a uh, keys with uh, if you mean to render a collection of okay item card item dot id uh, actually not chats here we need to message dot uh, oh guys let's go to action dot uh, author dot action inside reducer we need to write here search user search user and by default it's gonna be false but when search user get success that time guess search search user success I need to return state search user and uh, action dot payload loading false error null message to uh, actually not message here i need to write auth dot search users okay auth where where it's come from it's come from our store auth so guys uh, uh let me first go to auth dot Okay, guys so when we have implement this uh, search user action that time we need to tell what if uh, search user success success then we need to store our payload data inside our reducer here in the search user okay and we have left that part that's why we need to implement this now will render all the search users when somebody search the search for user so here now uh, auth dot search user dot map so this will go will implement this and now let's uh, search user so we are getting two users but uh, here only why one card is up here So let's uh, console this auth dot search user. So we are getting this. Uh, We are getting only Srita. Asha Pablo. Okay, no problem. Currently we have only one user, that's why it's coming one. Now let's go to here and make it dynamic. So guys, as you can see, if I uh, expand this user, we have first name, last name, and image we don't have currently. So yeah, let's use only first name and last name. So instead of this title, we'll use here item dot first name item dot last name. And let's copy this.
to lowercase also let's make it to lowercase okay pablo pablo yara sitani yara kya सीताराम पाब्लो सीता ओके या गाय सो ओवर सर्च फंक्शनलिटीज नाउ वर्किंग फाइन सो लेट्स क्रिएट नाउ चैट सो हैंडल क्लिक what we are going to do is let's uh we need to create search user when click on this we need to create chat okay for creating chat what are the things we need let's check I'll create it to switch it to the user ID. Mm -hmm. let's uh, write here dispatch create chat and id this id going to be user id so now here i need to give item dot id okay and uh, let's go to mess not message dot csx message dot action create chats chat a uh, post api chats we need what we need to give here so let's check when we create mm, chat so let's go to chat controller and when we create new chat that am api chat and the request body we need to give create chat request so inside the create chat request let's see what we have inside create chat request uh requests create chat request only user id okay we need to give only user id so what i'm going to do is uh, i will go to search user and uh, here i will give user id to id okay now chat will be created let's go to inspect console 
search for uh, Sita and uh, when I click on this you can see our chat is created now we need to get all the chats inside this message.jsx so here what I'm gonna do is uh, I will write uh, use effect okay and let's dispatch here uh, here I need to write define dispatch equal to use dispatch okay and uh, here I will dispatch get all chats get all chats and now let's uh, access our this store use selector and uh, user chat card instead of this user chat card I need to render here a message dot uh, chat dot map item this user chat card okay let's give it here and uh, let me break this okay currently we don't uh, have any chats why let's go to here and uh, console chats and uh, I will console here message dot chats let's go to here let's go to inspect actually inspect uh, inspect console and uh, we have get here catch error and that is nothing but uh, inside response inside data api chats user no message available api chats user i guess i need to give here a user id okay so mm -hmm. no need to give here user id i guess let's go to chat action I get all chats oh guys uh, we have mess up here uh, we don't need this message let me remove this we also don't need this okay and uh, still it's a bad request response data no message available api chats user so let's see what are the controllers for getting all the chats so we need to go to chat controller api chats find users chat okay, we just need to give api chats all right let's remove this so our endpoint was wrong that's why guys it's not working but now it's working fine you can see we have one chat and now let's uh, change the data of that chat card so what i need to do is uh, search actually not search user chat card I need to uh, receive one props and that is nothing but uh, chat I guess 
and we need to pass that props from message.jsx file so here I need to give chat and inside chat I need to give item now let's inspect and see what are the properties inside uh, chat so we have chat name null and we have username Sita and Pablo let's go to chat card where it is user chat card all set f here I'll check uh, I don't have auth so let's go to mess not message dot csx message actually not this as well this let's copy this thing and uh, paste it over here let's import this and here I will write if auth dot user dot id equal to equal to chat dot users zero dot id then here what I need to give chat dot users one dot first name plus last name so let me copy this paste it over here and last name uh, last name else I need to give here chat dot users zero is false name and last name so let me copy this and paste it over here control V now instead of uh, zero I need to give here a uh, actually let me remove this first instead of one I will write here zero so guys now let me explain if auth dot user dot id equal to equal to chat dot users zero dot id is ka what's the meaning of this so here you can see inside this chat we have users zero and one okay inside all the chats we have two users one is reg user and second is with whom you have whom you want to chat that user okay so if uh, our first user is our reg user then we need to uh, then we need to show second user's name here okay, that's why chat dot user one dot first name and chat dot user chat dot users first dot last name and if else we need to uh, show here first users name so chat dot users zero dot first name chat dot user actually not id Alright, now let's go to here and you can see Sitaram is coming here and new message is coming here. So guys now let me explain one more time uh, inside this chat let me inspect and show you inside this chat we have one 
filled with users inside this users field we have two users one user is uh, our reg user means v okay we self uh, and second user is with whom we want to chat so if our first user in the xerox uh, which are on the zeroth index it is reg user then we need to so second users username and else we need to show first users username here okay which we have done here all right ah uh, that's it done that's it guys now let me create new messages for that let's go to message and uh, what we need to do is uh, let's go to messages and let's write here handle create message const handle create message okay and const message equal to here we need chat id so current chat dot id and the content value and image i will give selected image okay so we don't have current chat so let's define here current chat const current chat and set current chat equal mm, set current chat equal to use state and let's import this use state now what we need to do we need to set current chat when we need to set current chat once user click on this okay so here it's uh, currently it's not a beer when user click on this uh this card we need to set here current chat so what i'm gonna do is uh uh search user user chat card okay on this i need to give here on click or maybe let's go to chat user chat card mm -hmm. hmm Uh, let's do one thing uh, control x and let's create here one div inside this div let me add it and on this div i can make on click so on click set current chat to item and uh, said message messages item dot messages okay we don't have message so let me write uh, defined here message as well const messages set messages equal to use it okay i will make you understand this as well guys don't worry uh, wait for some time now a value will come from here selected image so let's uh, define one state for selected image as well const selected image and set selected image equal to u state all right and uh, 
all shift f we need to return this to you guys all right and one more thing what we are going to do is uh Uh, okay so inside guys the second div what we need to do is uh Okay, so this div are uh, I need to cut out this div and paste it over here. Okay, now let me minimize it and let's see. It's uh, okay. No worries, nothing else. And uh, here, guys, I will make one condition. If current chat. then we need to render this div else will render another div empty div and uh, let's uh, implement this div is as well here what i'm going to do is i will uh, write let me uh, first give some style to it so height i will give full then space y i will give 5 then flex flex column i will give justify center and item i will give center and uh, i will write here no chat selected let's give some style to this as well class name text excel i will give then a uh, font semi bold okay chat bubble outline icon we need here all right so let's go to uh, mui icon and uh, search for chat bubble oh where we are gone okay chat bubble icon this icon chat bubble outline icon font size 15 rm okay it's look like this but when i click on this Uh, you can see our current chat is coming okay now here guys instead of code with chose we need to give current chat dot uh username so what we are going to do is uh let me go to user chat card and uh, copy this logic from here and uh, paste it inside code with josh where it is uh, let me maximize this here uh, yeah here so instead of chat here we need to give current chat
current chat okay so let me give here current chat here also i will give current chat and here also i will give current chat and here as well so you can see uh, sitaram is coming here now instead of a code with josh dummy value now guys uh, uh, when somebody click on enter button here inside this input that time we need to ha uh, invoke handle create message so let's go to our input first uh, so that we need to for that we need to uh, minimize uh, minimize uh, this thing i guess chat message and uh, also this part and here you can see our uh, input is here and uh, yeah on that input hmm okay so here i need to give on key press if e dot key equal to equal to enter and e dot target dot value or selected image then what i need to do is actually we not to give here a selected image because we don't make it require here we'll invoke handle create message and inside this i will give e dot target dot value okay so our on key press is done now what we need to do is when user select image when user select the image we need to upload that image to cloudinary and that cloudinary url we need to set here set selected image so let's implement uh, handle select image here for that what we need to give a uh, do is const image url equal to await and we need to make this function as async function and here we need to invoke upload to cloudinary function which we have defined inside inside uh, utils file i guess so let's check yeah you can see upload to cloudinary function we have implement here and uh, upload to cloudinary inside that we need to give two things first is file value and second is type of the file so our value is event so let's take event from here e dot target dot files zero and uh, file type will be image now we need to select a uh, set selected image image url img url okay and set loading loading false and here set loading true set loading actually we didn't define this uh, loading state so let's define here uh loading state uh, set loading
loading set loading equal to use state and uh, here we need to make it by default false okay and uh, inside handle create message guys we need to on uh, dispatch our create message action so create message and uh, here we need to give message all right now let's try a message is creating or not so hi when i write here hi and let's go to inspect in the console you can see we have get one error without error we haven't done anything yet no problem error is the part of our coding so inside this uh, response we need to check data yeah uh, no message available okay so let's check our endpoint for creating new message inside our Spring Boot application. So create message, then we need to give chat and chat ID. Mm -hmm. For creating new message, we need to give here chat and chat ID. create message user chat id uh, request border inside request border we uh, get the message from request what we are getting hmm message Okay, so only content will come from that. So let me go to message model. Set. Let's go to services or maybe let's open our postman. Don't do this. Let's just open our postman and uh, just check in our create message request. So Joe social YouTube create message where it is, where it is, where it is, create post, create a new request, uh, find post create comment like comment here it is create message so inside this we need to give only content no problem let's go to here uh, content chat id and email so let's go to our uh, message action and uh, create message Here we need to give chat and chat ID. So message dot chat ID. Okay, now it will work. So message chat and then messages. Oh, not message. Here we need to give messages. Also, let's check in our controller as well. So, chat name message controller. Where is our message controller? Create message. Uh, uh, create message. Oh, what is this? Instead of message controller, I have given here create message name. Wow what a joke so guys this is a typo error 
no worries and uh, hmm, messages chat and chat id yeah now i guess it will work so let's uh all right here uh, hi hello and hit enter and you can see our message is created successfully and if i open our chats uh, oh inside chats i didn't get any message wow what a joke hello how are you still i didn't get any message okay no problem so i guess we have uh, one more api for uh, getting all the messages so if i go to create message i had a id of that message user but i didn't have a chat so let's go to create message service message service implementation create message so set chat set content set image set user chat dot get messages dot add save messages chat repository dot save chat create message Hmm. These are not uh, only contents are coming. ID. What is happening here? Not understand. And a saved message. Message repository dot save message. Hmm. Set user. Hmm. Message dot saved user chat dot get messages add dot add saved message chat repository. Mm -hmm. created message get all the chats so let's go to chat controller find users chat user dot id huh it's fine but why i'm not getting message let me refresh it once go to here oh i have get the messages okay you can see all right guys so it's working fine we have get all the messages here now what I need to do is I will go to messages and uh, here I will render this messages where I will render this messages so chat message here okay so what I'm gonna do is uh, here messages dot map uh, actually this let's move here move it here item
chat message let's go to chat message um item or maybe let's uh, receive a message here i need to give a uh, message to item okay so you can see i get two message okay but message message guys but here i need to make some changes here now instead of this dummy true value true and false i need to make it dynamic okay so let me define here const is reg users it is reg user message auth dot user dot id equal to equal to item dot user actually message dot user dot id okay uh, i don't i didn't have here a uh, auth so let me copy this don't worry guys i will make you understand this line so guys what i have done here is if i i'm checking if auth dot user dot id equal to equal to message dot user dot id if both users id is same then this message is made by reg user okay and if this message is made by reg user then what i need to do is i need to justify it start else i, I need to justify it from end so here i will write uh, nod is re request message okay let me go to here and uh, i'm facing one issue okay instead of uh, let's write here uh, item why item guys because uh, here we have already message that's why we didn't uh, reinitialize uh, it so now uh, instead of message here i need to give item we can't reinitialize variable with the same name okay that's why okay you can see message are coming here because it's but it should become here right now what i need to do is i need to check if item dot image then only show this image and here also i need to mm, give this item dot image also only messages and now let's write here item dot content instead of this dummy value item dot content hello how are you okay nice or maybe i am fine so let me refresh go to here oh ah uh. I'm fine. Message is created. Mm. Let's go to
create message service okay we can't huh now it will work fine hi you can see hi is coming here uh, but guys uh, when we create uh, any new message we need to refresh this page okay so let's fix this uh, without refreshing this page uh, message should be appear there in our message box so what i'm gonna do is uh, whenever i create new message whenever i create new message I will go to message and uh, I will make here one condition get all chats message dot message whenever I create new message fetch this get all chats again okay so now let's check uh, I'm fine Mm -hmm. no need to do this mm -hmm. it's not a appropriate uh, whenever I create new message let me here use uh, one use effect message dot message what I will do is set messages messages and uh, message dot new message okay so I will change the set messages value when we create new message uh, messages is not iterable uh, messages is not iterable now it's gonna be iterable I'm fine what about you you can see new message is coming here right uh, okay it's working fine all right so guys you can see that it's working totally fine now let me uh, select one image and uh, go to my uh, fun directory Instagram now let's do one message with the image and check how it's look like selected message is not a function so selected message set messages selected image set selected image selected set select selected image okay image URL and uh, let's do one more thing guys let's go to here and uh, search MUI loader MUI uh, MUI loader or maybe what we can do with uh, circular whatever this okay let's use this expand this code circular progress copy this let's go to here or maybe let's use a uh, what I can say uh, let's 
skeleton no no not skeleton it's uh, i guess uh, what's the name of it uh, no 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 uh what's the name of that component i'm not remember exactly guys uh, let me remember uh, backdrop yeah backdrop mui okay let's use this so yeah let's inspect it backdrop copy this let's go to here go to our messages and uh, here let's import backdrop instead of open let's use here loading uh, let's install this as well and uh, we don't need this handle close okay uh, now let's go to here uh, reading id cannot read property of null reading id which id are you talking about let me control f dot id current chat if it is current chat then only so this mm. now let's uh, select one image okay okay so image is uh, uploaded but it's not appear so what we need to do is uh, for this guys we need to uh, export expand this and below our input just below our input this input here we need to render that image so let me first image src i will give here selected image class name i need to give width 5 rem height i will give 5 rem object cover px2 okay and now let's write here if selected image only then show this else don't show this let's go to here let's select image again let's open it and you can see our image is rendered here but it should be rendered Ah, uh, don't render here. So what I'm gonna do is I will uh, copy this thing and I will paste it over. It should be rendered here. Now again, let's go to here. Select one image. This time I will select peacock, and yeah, you can see our image is. Uh, appear here now let's write uh, message also so nice pick and when i hit enter you can see uh, our message is coming here nice pick but uh, okay let me do some things like uh, on the handle create let me set selected image set selected image uh, selected image null let me make it null okay, so it will not appear and one more thing uh, i guess that's it and uh, let's go to chat message and instead of this a uh, dummy instead of guys this dummy url i will give here now item dot image okay, so you can see uh, with peacock it's coming here null reading id 
which ID are you talking about? Auth.user, then ID, auth.user, okay. So let's go to message. Now let's current sets and this auth.user IT. Okay, Peacock is coming here. Now let's uh, uh, select another image and check it is working fine this time or not. So uh, you can see a flower is coming here. So let's write here nice flower or maybe I love flower. I love flower and when I hit enter, you can see I love flower message is coming with image as well. All right, guys. So uh, that's it for this uh, video. I guess uh, we have uh, completed almost our project and in the next video guys what we are going to do is uh, we'll implement the uh, dark mode for our application okay currently you can see our application is uh, is in white mode okay we don't have a dark mode but our uh, uh, this application is in the dark mode so will convert this application into dark mode in the next video guys so yeah we'll meet in the next video guys